Hey, what's up guys? Want to do a, a little uh, cigar review today. Be trying this uh, Gurkha Ninja Knife. I'm taking a little break right now. Uh, it's just working on the car, which I'll talk about in a second. But anyway, this is going to be my uh, first Gurkha ever. Um, two reasons I got this. One, I wanted to try a Gurkha. And the other thing is because it's called a knife. <laughs> so I saw that and I said, yeah, that's a cigar I have to try. Actually, knife is referring to the, uh, the size. This is a 5x55. Um, just did a video not too long ago, doing a little plug cut, trying out one of those new screw pop tools, um, cigar punch, and uh, worked good, although it wasn't very sharp if you didn't see that video, so it doesn't need a little sharpening. But uh, anyway, um, just in smelling the cigar and, and looking at it, and uh, doing a, a cold draw, or just you know taking a draw without it lit, um, it seems very spicy. Um, there's a lot of spice on it. Like I, I feel that spice on my lips right now before it's even lit. But in addition to that, it also has kind of a, um, a little bit of a sweet barnyard tobacco type flavor coming in. Again, that's pre-lit. So anyway, I'm gonna toast this up and uh, get it going. I'm using that Black Ops lighter today, which has a sharp cigar punch on, which I probably should have used. But anyway, um, yeah, I was having a little uh, car trouble, the Monte Carlo. Um, <clears throat> I had a problem a while ago where I was, uh, I was driving somewhere and, um, all of a sudden I heard a pop and I didn't know what it was and the car started running really, really rough. Later I had a friend, uh, uh, help me realize that the, um, the cap to the, uh, spark plug on uh, one of my cylinders had popped off. So it was only running on five cylinders. So that was the uh, initial problem with that, and I got it fixed, but now it's, it keeps popping off, so I have to see what the deal is, see if I can fix it. But um, just was working on that for a little while, so it's cold today, it's winter time. But uh, working on that helped me warm up a little bit. So anyway, got this thing lit. And the first thing I noticed is that the, the wrapper cracked on the ends. This is not uh, it's not dried out or anything, but I did have a little bit of a crack, and it's starting to it's starting to come apart a little bit. Construction is not so great so far, but we'll uh, see what we can do here. This was sitting in my uh, humidor with all the other cigars at a constant 69% humidity, so it shouldn't be unraveling. It's not dry. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, a really good sweet taste uh, to start off with, but um, like most cigars with the uh, the first light, it's pretty pretty wild right now. It's it's all over the place, um, hot, peppery, um, but there is an underlining nice sweet taste there. So just work on this and try to keep this uh, this wrapper uh, fixed up here and then moisten my finger and kind of like keep it down because it is wanting to unravel on both ends. It's kind of strange, but anyway, I'm gonna get this thing going, and then I'll uh, let you guys know what I think when I get maybe I guess through the first third. Uh, so there you go. All right, guys, it's been about 25 minutes now, and um, this is really starting to smoke pretty fast. Um, overall, it's kind of a, a light cigar in weight, and I don't think the pack is um, real dense, so it's not it's not lasting a whole whole lot of time. Um, I finally got it after many, many uh, touch-ups. I got it to burn evenly, but what's happening is the outer um, leaf, the wrapper, is starting to split off and, and separate as it's burning down. I don't know if the burn itself is like uh, conical, where it's, it's burning down in the middle more than the outside, so it's not burning evenly. Whatever, whatever it is with uh, construction or burn, it's just not... I'm spending more time fixing it than I am enjoying it or smoking it, so... I'm not liking that. However, I can tell you the flavors are pretty good. There's nothing specific um, that I'm picking out of it. It's mostly just a, um, a good, sweet, like, aged tobacco, which is surprising to me because um, it tastes almost as good as some of the more expensive cigars that I've smoked. Um, this cigar, well, before I continue, let me show you. See what's going on here with the wrapper? It keeps wanting to split off. The only good thing about this is that um, there's another layer underneath. Okay, so it's not, it's still allowing me to take a draw. 
Um, most most cigars, if you get a crack in your wrapper or your wrapper rips or something, that's a, it's garbage. You can't enjoy it. You can't smoke it. But it's allowing me to still draw on it. Um, very, very easy pull because it is so lightly packed, in my opinion. I believe that's why it's so um, easy to draw. And there's a lot of smoke output on this. Ever since the beginning of it. Um, so it's, it's smoking like a chimney. The problem is it's unraveling and the construction stinks. So, that being said, um, the flavors in the beginning, the first probably, not even like two minutes, um, was pretty harsh, very in-your-face, peppery, uh, very spicy. It mellowed out fairly quickly and it started, it turned into a consistent, for me, just um, single-dimensional. Just one-dimensional, one flavor, one just sweet tobacco um, flavor. Nothing special about it, but it's not bad by any means. It's just very... Um, annoying to have to constantly fix it because of construction. So construction is not, not good on this um, from my experience. But anyway, I'm going to keep enjoying it. Like I said, it is burning uh, quite fast too. I thought this would be like an hour and a half smoke, but turns out it's not going to be. I'd be lucky if I get an hour of this. So I'm just going to continue enjoying it and let you guys know if there's any, any changes or updates. But so far, the most annoying part is trying to keep this wrapper down because it keeps wanting to uh, pop up on me. And if that unravels enough, it's going to uh, turn the cigar into a useless stick of tobacco. So, you know, overall, it is a very affordable stick. Got a, f a pack of five of these from um, TrueTobacco.com, as I did the other uh, cigars. And there's still one more. No, actually, there's two more I want to review. One is a Rosa de Cuba, and another one is a, uh, I believe, another Padron uh, anniversary series. But, um, you know, so far it's kind of like, eh, uh, I, I definitely, um, because I don't smoke often, I won't tolerate a cigar that, uh, that construction is that poor where I'm constantly trying to baby it. Um, it's, it's seldom that I do enjoy a cigar. So when I do, I don't want to have to worry about constantly relighting it or it literally falling apart like it's kind of doing right now. So anyway, I'm going to continue to, uh, try to enjoy this as long as I have to keep touching it up and I'll give you an update as it gets a little bit, uh, closer to the end here. But so far, it's just kind of like, eh. Not awesome. Definitely not awesome, but it's not it's not crap either. Somewhere in between. Okay, well. Honestly, I'm going to call it quits. Um, I just got the band off, which was very hard to do. Uh, I, always try to, <laughs> I always try to slide the band off in one piece because I actually saved these. I've had every band uh, from every cigar I've ever smoked. So... Anyway, I got that off, I'm, so I'm right at the band point right now, but honestly, I'm going to put it out because it started getting harsh about two minutes ago. It went from harsh for the first two minutes to the majority of the stick, although falling apart, and the burn was pretty poor, or the construction, I should say, was pretty poor. The flavor was good. It was just a good, rich, um, aged, sweet tobacco flavor. It was very pleasant. I really enjoyed it. And it's also smoking like a chimney. I mean, no problems there. It's a great, easy, loose draw. It's just, uh, it's falling apart on me. And now the flavor got back to uh, to harsh, burnt, um, hot flavor. And there should be, you know, with the size of this nub, I mean, there should at least be five or 10 more minutes of uh, smoking on this, but it's burning really fast and now it's starting to burn too hot. I think the burn inside is conical or cone shaped in that the core must be way down here because it is hot on my lips already and it shouldn't really be with this much cigar left. There's probably, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half left, so. Uh, but I'm going to put it out. I'm going to call this quits now because I'm no longer enjoying it. Unfortunately, although the flavor was good in the middle of the cigar, I'm going to say it's not, uh, it's definitely not something I would smoke again. It's worth trying at least once. I might have gotten a dud on uh, construction here. Um, so I'm not 100% on if they're all going to be like that as far as the, the wonky burn and the how it kind of flaked out. Oh, by the way, the ash never held on. It held on about a half an inch and then would continuously drop down. There was no consistency there where it, it wasn't binding to anything. It was kind of just like loose tobacco. So construction was, was poor, in my opinion. Um, but the flavors were good. So it's kind of like a, if you get a chance to pick one of these up, I'd try it once, but I wouldn't expect a whole lot of that out of it as far as uh, construction goes. But maybe I just got a lemon, who knows. Either way, I did enjoy it for a little while there. And towards the end, the construction, uh, the burn was a little bit better, but the, the flavor started turning to crap. So I just put it out. It just tasted like an ashtray. 
So that's it. That's the Gurkha Ninja Knife. It's a 5x50, uh, excuse me, 5x55 uh, stick. And about 4 or $5, depending on where you go. I mean, you can pay as much as 7 or 8 bucks for them. I wouldn't. Honestly, if your local uh, tobacconist or smoke shop sells them for 8 bucks or $7, don't even bother. You can get them for 4 or 5 It's worth trying at least once. Uh, but very one-dimensional, like I said. I didn't really pick up on an array of flavors, and uh, it was definitely harsh in the beginning and end. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.